Hey Pisces, welcome to your first reading for December. I know I go in order, Aries to Pisces now to keep it simple. So you'll get this reading and then another one at the end of the month. I did not forget you. I had to do the reading um, for the new moon and the solar eclipse on the 14th. So that reading is up. It's pretty interesting, did a little different. So I did a general for the collective of the twin flame community kind of spread. And then the extended was Aries through Pisces, little personal mini three card readings. So that was fun. All right, so this is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun and Rising. Just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Won't resonate with everybody. If not, you can always check out the reading for your rising sign if you're here as Pisces Sun or vice versa, or be a cross watcher. And if you're here as a cross watcher, welcome. <laughs> I gotta cover all my bases. All right, I am pulling two cards from Spirit Animal Oracle, one for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine. As always, I go through the spread. I keep them kind of separate, so feel free to flip the energies around if you need to. Uh, masculine gets card 35, Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. Yes, indeed, Spirit has a plan. Love that little critter. And then the Feminine gets card 42, Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Look at these two little otters all curled up. I don't know if you could see there's one and there's the other. They're making that little heart. You are never alone. Of course you're not, especially if you have a twin, you're never alone. And now let's see what comes through for the Pisces watching from Energy Oracle. My readings are not date or time specific. I trust that whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, if it resonates, then it's your message. We're all on different timelines. That's why I do it that way. Um, but the reading I did for the new moon was date or time specific, good for about three days before, three days after. So if you watch that, make sure you're focused on the, the timing of that. This one you don't have to worry about. All right, Energy Oracle. Wow, adjacent possibilities. Another six, tw card 24. This was 42. You got two sixes. Sixes are good. Balance, stability. Adjacent possibilities. Let's see. It says many unconsidered options. Sometimes the, I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course, whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. Unlike the indecision card, which indicates confusion and vacillation about which course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and it's time to take a wider look at things. As you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decisions that bring happiness, strength, and forward motion. In terms of your goals, this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas. Perhaps there's a marketing tool you haven't thought of, a connection you haven't tapped, or an, even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you. Be conscious be aware and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now. Wow. I love that for you, Pisces. Adjacent possibilities. Many unconsidered options, right? I love that. That's really good. Oh, I want to claim that card. What is, why am I there? The focus on this camera is starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Just If I start swearing at it, you'll know. <laughs> you may not see me for a while until I get a new camera. Okay, where are we in this connection, dear Pisces? Let's see what's coming through for you, Pisces, Sun and Rising. 
twin flame soulmate energy is coming through. Hmm, three of cups, five of wands, magician, emperor. Wow, powerful reading so far. Hanged man, three major arcana in a row for this uh, masculine, the side that I'm calling the divine masculine. Feminine, also devil energy. Two of cups. There's a conflict though. Two of pentacles, the two twos. So very interesting. We have the three of cups here. I will clarify it to get a better hit on what that's about. This is the energy the divine masculine is showing up in. Could be celebratory. It could be third party energy um, that's causing some conflict here because the feminine is showing up in the energy of the five of wands. This is interference, a lack of harmony, right? No, like no unity, no harmony, conflict, chaos. But to me, the five of wands usually um, references some interference. And that's what I'm feeling because we've got devil energy and the two of cups. Past, present. So for this feminine, past experience of the connection may have involved some karmic energy, a karmic partner possibly for them or for their divine counterpart, or just um, some repeating pattern, something just that's um, off and kind of has a pull on the situation with their divine counterpart, with the soulmate. That's what I'm feeling. And then in the, in the future, we've got two of pentacles, which is usually that sort of, you know, um, in that moment where you're kind of juggling how to how to get it together, right? Um, it's like the pros and cons list where you're weighing your options. That card adjacent possibilities fits with this. Weighing your options and weighing realities on the ground and juggling all your priorities at the same time and then trying to sort it all out. Interesting. So as I said, masculine showing up in the three of cups could be celebratory, could be a third party energy, their present experience of this connection. Look at how gorgeous this is. Emperor, they know they are the divine masculine. Unless you flipped it around already, but um, that's about taking action, jumping in the driver's seat, taking charge, taking action. In the past, I feel like they've manifested to some degree. We have the uh, magician, Gemini and Virgo, Aries and the Emperor. So there's some energy of manifestation and um, having all the tools that they need to take this decisive action. But then in the future, hanged man. God, they got to pull back, delay their gratification, right? This is perfect for this. Spirit has a plan. And the hanged man knows that. So the hanged man sort of waits for the, you know, the enlightenment, the downloads. Pisces energy. This is one of your cards. A little different from the high priestess, which is also Pisces. The high priestess accesses their higher self, their spiritual team. It's more intuitive. The Pisces uh, of the hanged man waits for the downloads. That's why there's no action taking. So I almost feel like something may go a little sideways um, or just throw this masculine's plans out of whack a bit. Hanged man, look at the big picture. Understand that spirit has a plan. Delay your gratification. Oh, wow. Hmm, Ten of Wands, offloading some negative karma. Oh, this is a big release for this masculine, um, something that's been weighing on them very heavily. They're getting this aha moment. The Ace of Swords here, so there's some clarity and insight, maybe even an epiphany around this Three of Cups. Not sure what the Three of Cups is yet. I'll get there. Manifesting some fairness, a return of balance and fairness, justice, Libra. Look at this reading. Wow. Oh my God. There's Cancerian energy of the chariot. 
Could be for this masculine some legal process or formalized process. Whole thing has them really tripped out, or at least it did in the past, the moon. So look, there's more Pisces energy. All these major arcana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six major arcana. I only have got nine cards out. Um, so this is a big life-changing moment for this masculine. They've manifested this justice energy, which is... Um, could be like it could be in the legal field it could be a lawsuit it could be a case it could just be some formalized process that creates and re-enters re re in um oh my god my word finding issues today reinstates a sense of balance and harmony oh my gosh but underneath they weren't sure um if there was something hidden from view, wanting to move on victoriously, but kind of feeling triggered, insecure about it. This was in the past. Could have fears about what that justice might um, deliver. I'm only saying that because I see the Three of Cups. This reading is insane. Gemini of the lovers here. I feel like this divine masculine is, um, is making the choice to offload some negative karma with regard to the Three of Cups. They're having this clarity, a divine gift of clarity, Ace of Swords. Um, this is something that they've manifested. Could For some of you, it could be a divorce and moving on, moving forward, albeit kind of, you know, with all kinds of apprehension. This, for some of you, this may be a, a divine masculine who's exiting a marriage, um, and now they're sort of back in the driver's seat of their lives. Spirit has a plan, remember? And uh, this is, a, that lover's card is a, is a card of choice. Um, another another major arcana higher fan commitment um this is about their beliefs and could be a bit of spiritual awakening here for this divine masculine the hierophant i'm only saying that because i kind of see the ace of swords and i'm feeling there's like it's like a bolt and oh my gosh i i know exactly what i want now and this can be choosing the lover the divine counterpart choosing the connection um, recognizing recognizing the connection for what it is even though it's not the judgment card it's lovers there's still a recognition there of of the partner of the twin and this may throw them into some questioning of their beliefs but it's about being true to oneself yes underneath is a tower um, because it's underneath that's uh, when it's bubbling up under the surface it's sort of part of our psyche the cards from the bottom of the deck represent things that are maybe not in conscious awareness but that is sort of rising to the surface so it motivates our behavior even if we aren't aware of it so i am kind of feeling like this masculine is concerned that the bottom may fall out uh and it may they may be questioning they may be questioning themselves hierophant or their beliefs around commitment because I see that justice card this is a really crazy powerful reading for this masculine hanged man in the future I'm struggling with this deck today yeah they're waiting for they're waiting for a message some message that needs to come in before they move forward okay so they're <laughs> they're questioning the hierophant to me feels like they're questioning this forward motion what they just went through if for some of you whatever that justice card represents it's final right there's your truth there's their truth there's the truth the judge justice final 
Is that your final answer? Yes. And so that can be what's driving all this apprehension underneath in the past and now the tower moment, this fear that everything's going to come undone. So there may be a lot of questioning their, themselves in the role of divine masculine, the connection um, and their choice, the choice they made. So before moving forward, little page of swords, waiting for a sign, waiting for the all clear, not willing to give up, not going to give up very easily, nine of wands, perfect. I love that. Because why? Because it's about their twin. Not giving up on the twin. So, uh, I'm seeing a masculine here who's who may have some um, buyer's remorse. They may have exited a connection, whether they needed a legal assistance or not. So, just so you know, it can be either way. They've managed to, or they wanted to exit the, the situation, the connection. They're choosing this partner. I'm feeling that there's something that hasn't let them go yet. That either has a hold on them or is continuing to interfere in the connection. And I feel like they may second guess themselves. And that's why they're going to be in the future like, wait a minute, make no sudden moves, hanged man. They won't give up on the connection, though. And that hanged man also feels like adjacent possibilities, too, because to me, the hanged man is about looking at the situation from different angles or with fresh eyes in a way that you haven't looked at it before, right? What are the other possibilities? How are the other ways I can see what I've just come through? So they're still going to be looking for an answer. Page of Swords, a little bit of a I spy, a little detective, kind of sorting for information here. They won't give up on this connection. That's good. Feminine, however, Five of Wands. Mm-hmm. Page of Pentacles. Treading very carefully wanting to take this leap of faith. So the Page of Pentacles does feel like fresh energy here, possibly a fresh start um, in 3D, and the Fool is just going all in. But I feel there's something interfering with that. So actually the Fool is not leaping yet. Aquarian energy and the Fool. Sort of waiting for that message of love and or apology if one is warranted, but it feels like um, the two pages are letting me know that this that things are very tentative. They're not yet very evolved. It's almost like you're, I feel like there's some starting over energy, fresh start kind of energy, but the fool is choosing that path. So even though there's a conflict card of the five of wands, it's kind of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, let's, let's have a, a redo do over that devil energy darn man whatever this devil energy is feels like it may be related to the three of cups and the five of wands and the moon and the tower and the, you know it's just something that had this feminine feeling very much like out in the cold kept at arm's length, possibly ghosted. Because this can be, um, it can be scarcity mindset. It can be uh, lack consciousness. It can be financial insecurity for some. But it's generally about that not, not either not feeling um, valued or seen or just flat out being ghosted and shut out and we've got the devil energy so that devil energy is something that's a little is shadow it feels like shadow energy right decided to stay on your own do your thing independent um capricorn and the devil virgo in this nine of pentacles but the nine of pentacles is more just about you know, being in your own sphere and attracting to you that which you desire. This trouble with this um, Nine of Pentacles is she struggles to attract 
a stable love life or a lover with staying power. So that's, that's one part of it. Yes, underneath, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, um, I feel like this feminine, sometimes a Queen of Wands can be a karmic partner. I'm not seeing it that way. I feel as if... Um, Oh, could be. Pisces. Yes. Right? The devil, the three of cups. So feminine decided to stay. This is the past. Decided to fly solo. Going to do my own thing. I've been shut out. There's this karmic influence or, or very shadowy influence coming from a queen of wands. It's underneath, which means feminine's not quite sure what's going on. But someone's interfering with this connection. Someone's getting in the way. Someone's running interference between the, the emperor, right, and the divine feminine. Easiest thing to do, just withdraw, do your own thing. Present experience of the connection is two of cups. So I kind of feel like despite the conflict and the interference... Feminine's like, yeah, I'm all in, fool. Two of cups, two of cups. Let's do this. I want you, you want me. You are never alone. I love those little otters. So there's a lot of love here. The doubling down of the two of cups. Again, twos, twos are about choice as well. Uh, I feel there was definitely some sabotage here underneath. I think this feminine's got some concerns about that. Coming from the Five of Wands, the Devil, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups. And I feel all this energy came out in your last reading, especially in the extended, that Five of Swords, I remember it. Two of Pentacles in the future, dear feminine. Yeah, you might have to sort it out. Queen of Swords. What do we do? I feel this is a you know truth seeker, truth teller, yes, but also about clarity and good communication. Um, not down, not all emotional. This is very much logistical strategy. What are we gonna do? What do we do here? What do we do next? What are our options? What are the adjacent possibilities? With who? With your past life soulmate. Oh my gosh. Yes. So underneath a desire to communicate. Um, the two of pentacles. Keeping, think, keeping all the balls in the air, quite frankly. While you're waiting to either get at the truth. Right? Um, or to communicate about the, what are we going to do? What do we do now? With this person. The Six of Cups, again, that's balanced emotions, but to me, it always represents past life soulmate, um, someone you've known a long time or from past lives. Beautiful reading. This side is really amazing. It's just packed full of major arcana. I'll run through it. We have Virgo and Gemini in the Magician, Libra in the Justice, Chariot is Cancerian energy. The moon is Pisces. The emperor is Aries. The lovers is more Gemini. The hierophant is Taurus. The tower is more Aries. Hanged man is more Pisces. See what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, on the feminine side, Aquarian for the fool. Aquarius for the fool. Devil is Capricorn. Um, and that's about it. So, big powerful reading. Lots of major life altering shifts happening for the masculine. What I'd like to do is in the extended, I've been pulling th a three card spread, which is what is the issue situation or energy you need to focus on right now. Even if you're in separation, that's okay. You can work on this energetically on your own. The second card will be what's the block, the challenge or the dynamic between you around that issue or situation. And then what can you do about it or what can you expect to come of it? I clarify all that. And it usually kind of gives us good information about what isn't very clear here. Um, then we'll go to your messages to and from each other, energetic messages. I'm just the messenger. 
<laughs> don't shoot me and then a card for you pisces from your higher self spirit of the universe we'll see what advice your spiritual team has for you today and then going forward outcome position what can you expect going forward in this connection if timing's a factor it would come out there link to the extended is below this is an interesting reading i'm, I'm really kind of interested to see what comes through um mass divine masculine has been going through it for quite a while and this feels like something major is brewing especially with the moon and the tower underneath i feel that like impending sense of doom <laughs> for this masculine so it'll be interesting to see what comes through anyway love you so much uh the link is below i'll see you there or in a future reading take care of Pisces. bye bye